So obviously when you guys break spring training, this is not the way you envisioned the last homestand. Looking back, you know, what are some of your thoughts entering this homestand, the final one? Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, really important for us to finish strong, uh, you know, everybody to uh, finish healthy. So, um, you know, I'd, we'd like to win them all, you know, we'd like to go 7-0 to finish the year. And I think that would uh, that'd be big for us. And, um, you know, uh, hopefully the weather holds up and lets us get them in, too. Every offseason, you know, as a, a player gets further along in his career, you're always thinking about getting to a championship. What, what are your thoughts going to be in this offseason, looking at the core of this group, and just what goes through your mind sitting at home? Well, for me, um, you know, I, I like to focus on uh, some stuff that I could have done better. You know, um, a couple games or a couple pitches that, uh, you know, I wish I could take back. But, um, you know, especially coming off of surgery, building up strength and uh, endurance to make sure, uh, you know, next year I come in healthy. But, um, but really, you know, you, it, it's hard to remember the good outings, but the bad ones always stick with you. So, you know, those are going to be fresh on my mind and uh, try not to make those mistakes in the future. And that's what I'll be focusing on in the offseason. Coming back from the injury, then plus the fact where you know they changed the ability for you to use the, the substance on the ball to get a better grip, did that you know in your mind, mentally and physically, did that have any effect on you? No, I've never used that stuff, anyways. Um, you know, I've never even tried the sunscreen. I've, I've you know, I've, I've always uh, had a natural feel for it, so that didn't affect me at all. But uh, you know, it was it was certainly a distraction among the league, and you know, it's one of the things that uh, you know you wish you could just you know, ignore and, you know, not really pay attention to, but, you know, it was such a big story. I think uh, mentally, you know, it's, it was a distraction that uh, I don't think we needed. And, and lastly, you know, as a player, you've been around different cores of players over the years, and, you know, sometimes from the outside, people don't understand what it is to play in New York. This particular group, you know, given the expectations and the way they felt short, do you think next year they can rebound? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think we started something this year. We may not uh, be where we want to be in the standings, but uh, from a uh, cultural standpoint uh, in the clubhouse and amongst the guys on the team, uh, I think we're building on something that uh, it'll be exciting in the future, yeah. And, and to piggyback on that, obviously, you know, there's always questions at the end of the season if a team feels full of of expectations about a manager coming back. You just mentioned you started building something here as far as the culture. How is it impacted if all of a sudden Sandy and are gone and there's a whole new regime. Well, you know, um, you know, it's something to think about, but uh, I mean, you can't really, can't say until, uh, you know, you get those different personalities and different minds together. So, uh, you know, it's from an expectation standpoint, you know, there's no use in having expectations. You know, you just kind of go with it and, uh, you know, you just try to make the best out of opportunity and the teammates and the club around you. So I think, uh, I think that's the best mindset to have.